Did you know that your financial destiny isn't just shaped by how much you earn or invest, but by something even deeper, your money personality? This hidden part of your psyche drives how you think, feel, and behave around money. It can either open the door to abundance or create invisible barriers to wealth. Today, we'll explore what your money personality is, how to identify it, and most importantly, how to use it as a powerful tool for building the financial life you deserve. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll uncover not only your money personality, but also practical steps to transform any financial blocks into wealth-attracting habits. Your money personality is essentially the emotional and behavioral blueprint that shapes your financial habits. It's the culmination of your upbringing, beliefs, cultural influences, and even past financial experiences. Some of these traits work in your favor, like being disciplined with savings. Others, like avoiding financial planning or overspending, can silently sabotage your success. The good news? Once you're aware of your personality, you can adjust your habits and unlock new levels of financial abundance. Financial experts have identified four common money personalities. One, the saver. People who prioritize financial security, avoid risks, and find joy in saving. Two, the spender. Those who love treating themselves and others, often living in the moment with little focus on long-term financial goals. Three, the avoider. Individuals who feel overwhelmed by financial matters and prefer to avoid dealing with them entirely. Four, the investor. Strategic thinkers who see money as a tool for growth, but may sometimes take on too much risk in pursuit of higher returns. Let's figure out where you fall by answering a few simple but revealing questions. What's your first instinct when you receive unexpected money? Do you immediately put it into savings, spend it on something you've been eyeing, feel unsure about what to do, or research the best investment options? How do you feel about budgeting? Is it empowering because it gives you control? Restrictive and boring? Overwhelming so you avoid it? Or a useful tool to allocate funds for wealth growth? What's your biggest financial fear? Losing your savings? Missing out on experiences? Dealing with ignored financial issues? Or making a poor investment decision? Now tally your answers. If most of your responses lean towards saving and control, you're likely a saver. If you prioritize spending on what makes you happy, you're a spender. If finances feel confusing or anxiety-inducing, you're an avoider. If you're focused on using money to grow your wealth strategically, you're an investor. Your money personality isn't inherently good or bad. It's a mix of strengths and challenges. Understanding how it affects your financial decisions is the first step toward using it to your advantage. The savers. Savers are disciplined and excellent at avoiding debt. However, their fear of risk may hold them back from opportunities like investments or entrepreneurial ventures. If you're a saver, challenge yourself to take small, calculated risks. For example, start by exploring low-risk investment options like index funds or bonds. The spenders. Spenders are generous, enjoy life's luxuries, and often have a positive relationship with money as a tool for happiness. However, they may struggle with overspending and neglecting savings. If this sounds like you, set up automated savings so you don't have to think about it and create a fun fund to enjoy guilt-free spending within limits. The avoiders. Avoiders are often creative and focused on non-material aspects of life. However, ignoring money matters can lead to mounting debt or missed financial opportunities. If you're an avoider, start small. Dedicate just 10 minutes a day to reviewing your finances or use a budgeting app to simplify the process. The investors. Investors are forward-thinking and goal-oriented, making them adept at growing wealth. However, they may overestimate their ability to predict market trends or take unnecessary risks. If you're an investor, balance your portfolio and focus on diversification to minimize potential losses. Regardless of your money personality, you can reprogram your mindset and habits to attract wealth. Start by practicing daily affirmations that align with your goals. For example, savers might say, I trust myself to make smart investments that grow my wealth. Spenders could affirm, I balance joy today with a secure tomorrow. Avoiders can repeat, I face my finances with confidence and clarity. Investors may use, 
I make wise, balanced decisions that lead to lasting abundance. Visualization is another powerful tool. Spend five minutes a day visualizing your ideal financial life. See yourself paying bills effortlessly, enjoying luxurious experiences, or watching your investments grow. This primes your subconscious mind to take actions that align with these goals. Now that you understand your money personality, it's time to take action. Adjust your habits, set specific goals, and create systems that support your financial growth. Remember, awareness is the first step to change, but consistent action is what transforms your financial life. If you're ready to supercharge your manifestation journey, download the Manifest app. It's like having a manifestation coach right in your pocket. Use it to visualize, affirm, and track your goals effortlessly. Start manifesting the financial life you've always dreamed of today.